Dear friends, we shall now construct the graph of the function fx is equal to x minus 1 when x is less than 0, fx is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0 and fx is equal to x square when x is greater than 0. Also we shall discuss the continuity of the function fx at x is equal to 0. Friends, this is a piecewise function and the domain is divided into several parts. First part is x is less than 0 and second part is at the point x is equal to 0 and the third part is for x is greater than 0. So one by one we shall first of all draw the graph of the pieces. Okay, First of all fx is equal to x minus 1 fx is equal to x minus 1 is actually a straight line. We can write fx is equal to x minus 1 as y is equal to x minus 1. Okay, y is equal to x minus 1 is a straight line whose slope is 1. The slope m is equal to 1. That means 10 theta is equal to 1. Means theta is equal to pi by 4. That means the line will make 45 degree with the positive direction of x axis. Okay. And one thing is its y intercept is negative 1. For this it will pass through minus 1, 0 comma minus 1. Okay. This point is say 0 comma minus 1. If we draw the line y is equal to x minus 1 then we shall find the line is like this okay like this and this line is making 45 degree with the positive direction of x axis friends now one thing is very important that what is the domain of this curve that is this is a straight line actually y is equal to x minus 1 what is the domain of this function here we find that x is less than 0 okay when x is less than 0 then the function will get only this part okay this part and moreover there is no equal sign that is x is not is equal to 0 for this we have to discard this point also that means minus 0 comma minus 1 so friends this is the first piece that is fx is equal to x minus 1 second piece is very simple fx is equal to 1 this is a constant when x is equal to 0 at the point x is equal to 0 the value of the function fx is 1 that is the solid circle this is included also for the third piece that is fx is equal to x square how to draw this function this is actually a parabola and this parabola its vertex is at the origin so it will touch the origin so the curve of this function is like this okay it is passing through the origin and uh, um, the important fact is uh, its domain is x is greater than 0 that means this is x is equal to 0 and this part is for x is greater than 0 so one thing is very important there is no equality sign is put that means x is not is equal to 0 so we have to discard also this point the origin and the curve will be drawn only for this domain x is greater than 0 for this the curve is this part only okay so we now combine all of these facts all of these pieces in a single graph okay friends the graph will be now shown in this format final graph okay this point is this point is 0 comma minus 1 the straight line is this part if you extend this you will find that this line is making 45 degree with the positive direction of x x x but we cannot exp extend this one because its domain is x is less than 0 okay x is less than 0 for this this function is left side of y axis okay second part is uh, fx is equal to 1 again you see the function fx is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0 that means when x is equal to 0 0 then the value of the function fx is equal to 1 
So we can plot it here in this graph. That means this is origin here x is equal to 0 and uh, the value of the function is fx is equal to 1. So this is 0, 1. Okay. Next piece is fx is equal to x square fx is equal to x square domain is x is greater than 0 and this is the curve and we shall combine it in the single graph and uh, this point is excluded I discussed it and uh, the part is this one okay so ultimately this is the this is the graph of this function now we shall see the LHL and RHL of this function Okay, when x is tending to 0 negative, that means x is approaching to 0 from left side of 0, then fx is tending to negative 1. This is negative 1, negative 1. So LHL is tending to negative 1. On the other hand, RHL, okay, RHL, when x is tending to 0 positive, that means x is tending to 0 from right side of 0, then fx is also tending to this point and this point is 0. So RHL is tending to 0. On the other hand, you see that from this graph, the value of the function fx at x is equal to 0 is 1. This height is 1. Okay, So f of 0 is equal to 0. But since LHL and RHL are not equal so limit does not exist when limit does not exist then there is no question of continuity at the given point x is equal to 0 hence we can conclude that at the point x is equal to 0 the function fx is discontinuous okay. discuss analytically the continuity of the function fx at x is equal to 0 okay First of all, we take LHL. LHL is equal to limit x tends to 0 negative of the function fx. Okay. So, this is equal to limit x tends to 0 negative. That means x is less than 0. When x is less than 0, then fx is equal to x minus 1. So, the function is x minus 1. Okay. It x is equal to 0 minus h okay so when x is tending to 0 negative then h is tending to 0 okay for this limit h tends to 0 0 minus h minus 1 so in the limiting case h tends tending to 0 we get the limiting value of this function as minus 1 okay now we take rhl the RHL. RHL means limit x tends to 0 positive of fx. Okay. So x is tending to 0 positive means x is more than 0. When x is more than 0, then fx is equal to x square. So this is limit x tends to 0 positive of x square. Let us consider that x is equal to 0 plus h. When x is tending to 0 positive, then h is tending to 0. So in this case, we find limit h tends to 0, 0 plus h whole square. So ultimately, we are getting 0. So friends, LHL is equal to negative 1 and RHL is equal to 0. LHL and RHL are not equal. So, limit does not exist. When limit does not exist, then the function fx is not continuous at the given point x is equal to 0. Moreover, we, we see that f of 0 is equal to 1. Because we see that fx is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0. So, f0 is equal to 1. That means the value of the function fx at x is equal to 0 is equal to 1. But this does not matter. Since LHL is not is equal to RHL, so a limit does not exist. And for this, 
the function f x is discontinuous at the given point x is equal to 0. Thank you. Have a nice day.